pulling the split uh, dust shoe. Uh, it's because it splits apart and that's to allow for easy access of the uh, router bit for changing router bits. Uh, one of the problems with dust shoes, one of the big problems is making it easy to get on and off so you can change your, your router bits and so this solves the problem. Uh, the lower, the top piece here attaches to the router. It just simply clamps on with this screw here at the, toward the bottom of the router and uh, this stays there permanently. I mean you can take it off pretty easily but typically you won't. And then uh, the bottom piece just attaches to it with three uh, rare sets of rare earth magnets. Uh, some of the magnets protrude while the others are recessed and so that uh, makes it automatically aligned. You just get it closed and it snaps right back together. Uh, so again one of the big problems with dust collection is uh, with the boot is simply being able to change router bits and the other problem is having clearance for your clamps. You tend to want to hit clamps with all this stuff hanging out there off of your router. And so uh, this shoe has a three inch uh, length uh, brush so that allows a lot of clearance for clamps and it also is a very flexible brush so it squishes down quite nicely so it doesn't interfere with Z travel. Of course the problem is when you start getting that long and flexible a brush uh, it tends to want to get sucked into the inlet and so what it did to help uh, solve that problem was on the inside it's kind of hard to see here but there's a, actually a one inch length brush uh, mounted on the inside of the three inch brush around the uh, inlet to your dust collector and so that helps keep the, uh, the long flexible brush from being sucked into the inlet. Now this is, I've got designs for the um, two and a quarter horsepower Porter cable. It has a three and a half inch uh, diameter uh, housing and then also for the Hitachi which is a three and a quarter inch housing where it clamps around the router here. Uh, on the Porter cable you have about an uh, inch and a half or so distance between the bottom of the brush and the bottom of the collet when you're running a precise bits collet anyway. And on the Hitachi you have about two inches. Also on the Hitachi uh, the air, the exhaust uh, cooling exhaust from the, the router blows straight down. That tends to want to blow the, uh, the material out from under the brush. So actually Joe came up with this design, this little deflector that mounts the bottom of your router on the Hitachi that uh, the exhaust comes out, hits this and deflects sideways. And so uh, provide that with this shoe as well, as well as the mounting hardware. The Porter cable already, it has the version inside the router itself so it goes out to the side and doesn't blow straight down so you don't need a deflector on the, the Porter cable. Also have a, a hose uh, dust inlet connector here that uh, will fit a four inch uh, inlet. And I guess that's about it. I'll show it to you on the machine. And Okay, here's the dust shoe installed on the machine. Uh, access to the bit is real simple. Just simply pop it off and you have complete access to the, the bit under here to, to change the bit or to, to zero it. I'll zero it right quick and ready to start the job. Get over there very easily and work with your touch probe. So then, once it's here, you simply install the shoe, it's right back on, you're ready to go. Just press run and 